Hey guys, it's an exciting day. We've got our solar panels in. We went and picked them up at, uh, we had ordered them into Home Depot. Went and picked them up yesterday. And uh, now we're getting them up on the roof. So what we have is just 200 watts. These are little 100 watt panels. We got two of them. Um, and we're getting the roof ready to go ahead and put them down. Over here, I've already done this. This is my, um, this is the cables where it's going down. It came with the 12 gauge cables. So one of these is positive, one of these is negative. And I'm gonna cut it in the middle somewhere. I think the negative doesn't need to be as long as the positive. So I've kind of marked which side I'm using for which. And uh, eventually I'll cut this, tie it into the panels, probably leave a lot more room on the hot side. Um, this is just a, uh, like uh, for conduit, it's a little plastic weatherproof case. And so I've knocked out one of the blocks in the middle here, and that's where I actually drilled my hole down. And then there's two screws, one on each side that I've siliconed up. Um, and then I've uh, knocked out one of these side knockouts. That's where this wire will actually go through and then sit up under the panels real nice. We have already drilled, uh, we've got our little Z brackets fastened on our panels. I had to uh, drill these out just a little bit because I'm using some pretty heavy duty screws on them. I think what's under this is like uh, maybe half inch at the most. I don't, I don't think it's quite half inch plywood. Um, so I wanted something with some pretty aggressive threads on it. So I've got those. What we did was we laid them out where we wanted them. And then we marked around where the Z brackets were, marked a hole. And then uh, we used this guy to drill. This is a little trick that I use sometimes when I don't want to drill too deep. I'll just measure what I really need, the drill bit to go. And then I'll put some tape around to kind of stop it from going too deep. Um, and so I've drilled all these. Uh, now my next step, I'm gonna put some silicone around here to where when I lay the panels in place, it kind of forms a ring around the panel, uh, around the Z bracket. And then, uh, and then we'll put the, the screws through and then silicone over it really, really well. Just kind of cover it real good. Uh, but check it out and we'll, uh, we'll get back to you in a second when we've done a little bit more. So this is what it looks like right here. So I just take, this is why I draw the whole square out. So I draw the whole square and then I take my silicone and go around the hole real good. And then when I actually tighten up the bolt, uh, it actually squirts the silicone all up out around the side. Um, so I get a real good, uh, almost like a donut under there. And then uh, when I'm all done, I'll go back and I'll actually fill over that hole and everything. If you look at most RV roofs, I mean, this is how they how they silicone everything, and it's because it's it's pretty flat roof, and it's this rubber roof up here, so there's not any kind of crazy pitch to it, and so uh, anytime they use silicone, they just man they put it everywhere. So that's what I'm gonna do on these. These whole feet are just gonna wind up being covered. Um, so let me get the other one down. All right, so <clears throat> there's my spot where I'm gonna wind up dropping my wire down. I've got uh, both my panels hooked in. Uh, the way I'm sending it down, it's going to be sending down 12 volts. So I've got both, uh, <coughs> both the panels hooked in here. So I'll have one, uh, one male connector go down, one female. And I've just got to put those on the end once I determine the length that I actually want my wire. Um, and I already caulked my brackets. I was pretty, uh, I was pretty generous <laughs> with, uh, with the caulk on there. I gave it a lot. And, uh, and I actually, this is what I used. <coughs> in my messy workspace up here. This is called Henry. Um, it says it's the number one choice for professionals, so you can't really go wrong with that, right? <laughs> uh, and it said it's a roof sealant. It's supposed to never crack, and it said it was uh, good for RVs. I actually found it at Home Depot. Um, said it was good for RV roofs and, and about any kind of material you can imagine. But uh, it's supposed to stay real good and soft, never crack, anything like that. So hopefully that, that does me good. Believe me, I'll be back up here checking on them. <laughs> um, let me see. I guess I'm about to go down um, so that I can determine my cable length so I can go ahead and get this hooked up. 
put my plate on and I'll be done up here. So that'll be awesome. Hey guys, I wanted to show y'all, uh, cause it's getting dark. Um, I'm about to go in. I've got everything done except for these tied in and the positive wire ran. What's up lady? Cool. Um, I didn't want to tie these in yet. I know it's not very light, but I think, I think you can get shocked just by like hanging out cause they are producing energy. I don't know. Uh, but I've got this all cocked up where the wires are actually coming out. And then uh, I'm paranoid of leaks. So I, I even caulked the little screw heads and this is supposed to be weatherproof even without that. So I just went crazy. And then these, these breakouts, these aren't broken out or anything, just that one. But I can bust one of these out, scrape the caulk off, pull the lid off if I wanna run additional wires down there. So that'll be cool. Uh, I've left just enough slack to where I can get them hooked up and then pushed under there. And then I'm gonna use some some little ties to kind of clean up the wires along there. Um, but I, yeah, I think I'm down to installing my uh, charge controller and then running my positive wire to the battery. So we'll work on some of that. Hey guys, so it's been a couple days since I actually finished the solar install. When I finished up, it was dark. And uh, so I didn't really want to show off the charge controller or anything with no charge coming into it. So I've actually had a couple days since then. Um, so I've been able to see kind of how they perform and stuff. Uh, so I'll take you inside. I'll show you how I finished up, uh, how everything turned out. All right, guys, inside the rig here, um, I'm going to show you all. So this is the cabinet that I used to drop all my wires through. And I really liked it because it went from the ceiling all the way down to the floor. <clears throat> and uh, so here it is. Um, up there is where I dropped the wires down. And so I have my positive and negative coming from the solar. And they go down through here. <clears throat> and then up from that cabinet, whoa, right up to my charge controller. <clears throat> so there's my charge controller. And what it's saying there is that I have solar power coming in and my batteries are sitting at 12.5 volts and I don't have anything going on my load. And so what that is, this is my positive and negative from the solar. So these go up to the roof. These are my batteries, positive and negative. And this is a, uh, my load and this is optional. This is in case you want to run something directly uh, from the solar panels, which I'm not doing. I'm only using mine to charge my batteries. And uh, other than that, that's about it. You've got a lot of options through here. Um, it'll tell you uh, uh, I, there's an optional temperature gauge that you can put on the battery to monitor the battery temperatures. And then uh, there's my solar coming in, 1.1 amp um, load. I don't have anything on the load. There's my amp hours coming in off the, uh, off the solar. And a bunch of stuff I don't use that's saying uh, that the solar panels will stop at a certain point uh, when the batteries get too full. And uh, yeah, that was my home screen I'm back at. Ah, and then I'm gone again. There's the home screen, I did it. Yep, but anyways, that's how I set it up. So uh, those the cables for the batteries, they run all the way down uh, through the floor and then up to the battery. And the only thing I did up there that was special uh, was I put a 20 amp fuse in place on the hot side in between uh, the battery terminal and the panels. And uh, actually I'll do a quick video of that. And there is my little uh, 20 amp fuse. And what I did was I just uh, cut my 12 gauge wire that was supposed to go straight to the battery. And I used some butt connectors and just put that uh, in line. My hands are all dirty. I've been doing some spray painting today. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah so there it is and that's supposed to uh 20 amp is the right size fuse for 12 gauge cable and it's just supposed to be uh if the cable gets too hot it's supposed to blow instead of starting a fire or something so just a little safety precaution hey guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't already make sure you click the icon above me to subscribe to our channel and uh, keep your eye out for our other videos. I should be doing one on our new inverter I installed and also our battery bank that we just upgraded. Uh, till next time, take it easy. Thanks for watching.